you ended up going to Ivy League on the encouragement of one of your teachers. Yeah, it was a, actually it was a teacher friend of my parents. This man had been a fellow at Yale, had a fellowship, and, and said, you should go there. And I thought, ha ha. Must have been a big thrill, though. It was incomprehensible. Yeah, I bet. I had been, I bet. I'd been to Chicago. Lucky but to I go to college been. in those days. And what, uh, Ivy League, I'm not sure. I better um, find out what that is, and right. you know, all that. It was, it was the best four years of my life, and, and wow. I knew it at the time. Wow. Well, I have a quote from you back, the, back in those days talking about your Nebraska, oh, your, excuse me, your Yale experience. I hate people who do their homework. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you said, my Nebraska clothes set me apart. Ah, uh, yes. You remember saying, yeah. I remember, you said, I actually wore brown and white shoes. Mm -hmm. They were impractical, though. The white one kept getting dirty. You did that better than I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Timing that, is everything. That was one of my, when you're, when you're a comic in clubs, and, and I was starting out in clubs following the footsteps of Woody Allen, I always thought of that as one of my surefire laughs, and you yeah. don't have that many. That, and that worked. After you graduated from Yale, you came right to New York, because this is where it was happening, I guess, everything. And you know why? Still because is. I was in summer theater, summer after graduating, and I never thought of my future. Mm. I thought, I don't want to be a doctor. My father tried to get me into dental college, for Christ's sake, and I just never, yeah. I didn't want to be like everybody else. And a newscaster in Lincoln ran into one day and he said, you know, I was just thinking about you. You're going to get up and out of here the way Johnny did. Yeah. Well, he was and right. I thought, what does that mean? He was right. <laughs> It happened to And me. here we are on opposite each other years later. You lived on uh, West 89th Street. How do you and, do this, Mr. Holmes? <laughs> <laughs> on a fifth floor walk-up. People today would not know what that is, I don't think. Walk-up. No, it was sort of a run-up. It was a tough <laughs> neighborhood, and I was often followed there. But uh, In an article regarding, regarding uh, the early years for you here in New York, uh, a reporter said about you, he said, his Yale education would have been a meal ticket if he were going into law or finance. But for show business, it was a disadvantage, if anything. Why so? I'm not sure that's true. I, I mean, it, it, it certainly didn't teach me a craft. But um, I, I was great. I loved every bit of it. I wasn't trying to uh, learn anything in order to be an investment banker or right. uh, what I would think would be other intolerable uh, professions. <laughs> um, and I just, uh, oh, I don't hope my investment banker isn't watching. Why did right. I say that? <laughs> But I didn't want to do that, and I was drawn to show business more than I realized. 